This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to have an IMM curve brush randomly cycle its insert meshes across a curve? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a polysphere here loaded in, and this polysphere has no subdivisions. So the question is referring to an insert mesh brush that has a curve stroke applied to it. So I'm going to navigate over here to the brush palette, and I'm just going to grab this IMM clothing brush here. And I'm going to navigate to the stroke palette, I'm going to go to curve, and I'm just going to activate curve mode. Now by default, if I drag this IMM brush out with curve active, it's going to draw the curve, and then it's going to take one of those insert mesh parts and repeat it across the curve. So the question is asking if there is a way to randomize which part ZBrush chooses to generate along this curve here. So instead of just taking one of these IMM brushes, it'll come through and randomly pick some of these other ones as you draw the curve out. So the answer to this is yes. So to do this process, we just need to navigate to our brush palette over here. I'm just gonna dock it to the side. And I'm gonna open up the modifiers area. Now in this modifiers area, you have some sliders here that determine which part of this insert mesh brush ZBrush is going to use when you draw this curve out. So the first one here we have is this selector. And this is just assigning a number to the current insert mesh part you have selected. So if I press M on my keyboard here and I have the first part selected, you can see I'm going to get an insert mesh selector of zero. If I press M again and I select this knot here, you can see I'm going to get a selector of two. So this is just assigning a number to the current part you have selected. Now directly below this, we have a variation slider. Now if this slider is set to anything greater than one, you'll notice that this mode selector becomes active as well. So using these two sliders is going to allow you to tell ZBrush how many different parts you want from the insert mesh brush, and then how these are going to be generated. So if I want to use four parts of the insert mesh brush here, I'm just gonna set this to four, and then I'm gonna change my mode to one. So if you hover over this, you can see which modes you can choose from. So zero is static, one is cycle forward, two is cycle backwards, and three is random. So we're just going to set this to 1, which is cycle forward. Now if I press M on my keyboard here, you can see I have the knot as my current selected insert mesh brush. And I want four variations total. So what this means, it's going to take the one I have selected, and then it's going to get the next ones above it until it gets to four. So it's going to use this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now with my mode selector set to cycle forward, when I draw this curve out, ZBrush is going to first use this one, then it's going to use this one, then it's going to use this one, and then it's going to go back to the knot. So let's go back to my model here and draw this curve out. And you'll see it's gone through and it's using four from that current insert mesh brush I have selected, and then it's cycling forward through them. So you can see here's the knot, the fourth one, and then here's the knot again. Now if I change this variation slider to two, which is cycle backwards, and now draw this out. You're going to see that ZBrush is now taking those four variations from the one I have selected. It's going to start with this one now, then go to this one, this one, and then to the knot. And you can see that's repeated like so. So in addition to cycle forward and cycle backwards, you also have random. So I can change this to three, and then let's set my variations to eight. So with a variation of eight, starting from this knot here, ZBrush is going to use one, two, three, four, five, six seven, and eight. So those are the eight parts that ZBrush is going to cycle through at random when I draw this curve out. So now if I draw this out again, you're going to see now it's using all eight of those parts in that insert mesh brush and dragging them out like so. So to recap, just make sure you have an insert mesh brush selected. Make sure you have curve mode active under stroke. And then in the brush palette under the modifiers tab here, Make sure you have your variation set, which is going to determine how many parts of the insert mesh brush you want ZBrush to use, and then set your mode to how you want ZBrush to select these. And then after you have those set, just come across and drag this out like so, and you're going to get this result. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!